Hello and welcome to a review of the Pop-Up Parade Winter Version Megumin statue. So in front of us today we have a different looking version of Megumin uh, from Konosuba. So I'll level with everyone right at the start. I don't know where this comes from. Um, I've seen the first season and the movie. So this could feature in the second season or potentially in like a spin-off or an OVA or maybe even just the light novels or manga. Um, but regardless, I bought this uh, partly because I was a bit late ordering the Megumin one and the pre-orders went uh, and basically the the price for getting that now is quite considerable. So I thought, well, this is just as cute. Actually, controversially, I kind of prefer this to regular Megumin, but we'll get into that later on. Anyway, we'll take a quick look around the box and stuff. So, as I've mentioned, this is Megumin Winterver, or Winter Version. This is by Papa Parade, who is a company of Good Smile, obviously. And this is from Kono Subarashi. Uh, I can't remember the full name, but Kono Suba. Um, and yeah, and as with all Papa Parades, the packaging is really, really minimal. I don't know if that's meant to represent the, the full cast. That looks a bit like Darkness's colours, but I could be wrong. Also, technically, there's no there's no blue for Aqua. So, uh, but yeah, um, that is on the back. It, it's always got this kind of, like, abstract triangle motif. I'm not fully sure why. And that's a look at the other side, and that's the bottom. Um, right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up now and pull her out and all the accessories and stuff and then we shall take a look at what's inside this box. Okay, I am back and I'd just like to say something right off the bat. Um, I was googling just to see if I'd got her staff position right and it turns out actually this outfit featured in uh, the movie. And I've seen the movie. Admittedly, it was like last year, but I do not remember this outfit. Maybe it's at the start or something? I can't remember. But anyway, um, we'll get on to that later on. Actually, we won't. I don't think I'll be discussing that. But there she is in all her glory. So what we're going to do now is take a look kind of close up at her, and then we'll get into like a photo collage, and then I'll give my thoughts at the end. So we'll start, as we always do, at the base. The base is crimson, which is appropriate, especially for the name of the movie. Um, so yeah, the she sticks to the base very easily. There's like two, there's two sticky down bits there and one there, so you can't even mix up which foot goes in which one. Um, and yeah, so we've got some very nice boots. They're shiny. They're uh, I, I like the little detailing as well of the folds of the kind of fabric and stuff there. Um, we're going to look at the staff in a second, so we'll uh, move on up. Then she's got her knees, obviously, and the spats that she's wearing. Uh, obviously, some nice little folds as well, just to show that uh, even though they're skin tight, they still are, you know, a little bit snug. Uh, and then round back, I can see some flashing blue lights outside, so I'm going to start moving on up. Uh, right, so then we have the cloak. So. A fun fact about this cloak, actually, it's removable. Uh, this mildly concerned me, because when I opened it up, her head was off, and I was very concerned. But then, turns out, it's so you can take this off or put it on. So, as I mentioned, stick around, because there will be a photo collage. I'll show you guys what she looks like without this on as well, just in case you're curious. Um, but yeah, man, this is part of the reason I bought this and honestly is part of the reason I think this version of Megumin is better than her regular outfit. Now I really like her regular outfit as well and if I ever come across the Papa Parade statue for a good price I'll probably end up buying that. But this is just as cool in my opinion, if not a bit cooler. You guys know my opinion on capes by now and this isn't really a cape, it's more of a poncho but to be honest I'm really digging this. This is super dynamic. There's like folds and ah, oh, it just, it flows amazingly. This genuinely is one of the best bits of modelled clothing I have seen. It's just, the, the, oh, it, it looks really cool. Um, and obviously the, the, the point of Megumin is a, she's a Chinubio. So, you know, she, she strikes that like ridiculous cool pose really well. But this, that suits the statue really down to a T, really. Um, we've got her little wrist glove, fingerless gloves, I guess you could say. 
Um, and then we get on to the face. So the face, of course, took a little while to uh, focus there, but the face looks pretty good. Megamin, as always, is very cute. She's got her hair and the hair ties at the end there. Honestly, the hair is re looking really cool as well, to be honest. There's like, it splits so specifically as well that like, it really does give the impression this is like quite, you know, detailed hair, not just strands of plastic on her head. And then we move up to her very, very cute little hood kind of thing, which is just, it, it's adorable. Um, that's the other reason I really wanted this, is that this hood, I think, is cuter than her witch hat, which I really like as well. Uh, as you guys know, I like characters with hoods and hats and stuff. But this this looks very comfy. It, it's really cute, like winter wear and stuff. It's got tassels on the ears. And the brim as well uh, moves just like the, uh, the cape does or the poncho. So you can actually kind of tell the way of the wind that it's kind of blowing that way, which is some delightful uh, levels of detail there. And obviously the colours are quite vibrant as well. I'm really digging it. And of course, getting on to vibrant, it's time to get on to her staff. So this comes in two parts. I'll show you guys where it attaches in a second. Uh, you know, for the most part, this is like wood. Uh, there's a little bit of moulding, so you can kind of see the dimensions. And then mid up here is the kind of wrap for uh, handling and stuff. So it detaches there. So what you want to do is slide this bit through her hand there and then attach it here because you could technically try and snap it like between her fingers, but I feel like that may just risk snapping, uh, you know, a finger. It's not worth it. And then we go on up here. So this is obviously Megumin's standard staff. I don't think this is any different to her regular pop-up uh, parade statue, but still it looks really nice. She's got those weird yellow rings. Sorry, I moved the box in the background because my camera kept focusing on it. And um, yeah, and it's got the kind of weird tip and stuff to it. And of course, her, uh, her orb, I guess, that causes the explosions. It's held on by a translucent bit of plastic. But honestly, from most sides, you can't even see that bit. So it gives a really cool illusion of like, it's floating or whatever. Is it in the show? It's been a while since I watched Konosuba. I need to get around to seeing uh, season two. But that basically wraps up uh, a look at Megumin and everything you get with her. Uh, this is a bit more customizable, actually, than I was expecting. Technically, you can have her with her staff. That would be a weird choice. You can also have her without this poncho, which, again, is a bit of a weird choice. Um, but anyway, right, I'm going to jump into now, do, uh, you know, taking a few photos from different angles and stuff, just to kind of show you guys all the dimensions of the statue, just in case I didn't show you anything. And I can show you what she looks like without the poncho. So without further ado, here are some photos. Okay, I have returned. So yeah, that, that was um, that was a few kind of interesting pictures. Hopefully that gave you guys a better sense of some of the details. Maybe I didn't focus on like her little symbols on the poncho. I realised I didn't actually uh, mention them or ever on her pattern. Um, and yeah, so you also got to see her with her cloak off, which I'm going to be honest, doesn't look that good. It just, it looks strange. I don't know, it... I appreciate maybe the point is because she's kind of got that bodysuit thing on underneath and, you know, I mean, they've clearly modelled it, so why not have a way to see it, I suppose? But it just, it looks off like her hat and her gloves just make everything look like it's bigger somehow. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but personally speaking, I couldn't really see any reason to display her like that. But that's just my own thoughts. And on the topic of my own thoughts, it is time to give a wrap-up and review and stuff of the Papa Parade Megumin Winter Version statue. If I had to give this a rating out of 10, I would probably give this an 8, maybe, possibly a 9. Because this is 
really, really good, actually. Um, in keeping with the other Papa Parade statue that I bought, which is the uh, Ruby Rose from Ruby, this, honestly, this is better. I mean, I, I really like Ruby, and uh, it's one of my favourite statues, hand down. But this kind of tops it. I don't know, the, the modelling and everything is... Uh, it's just that little bit extra, things were a little bit more detailed. And, I don't know, it, it's just, it's a really cool design. Um, as I said, I really love the visuals and stuff. I don't have a lot of statues that are, like, white with accents, if that makes sense. It's usually another colour with white accents. So this does kind of stand out, in a way. Um, and as well, as I mentioned, I really like Megumin as a character. I have been tempted to get uh, Darkness and Aqua as well, because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, no, uh, both of them have winter uh, statues out in Popper Parade. So I'll consider that. Maybe I'll have a small Konosuba winter display <laughs> or something. But yeah, honestly, um, if, like me, you find yourself in the boat, you really want a Megumin statue, but you've missed the Popper Parade one, and now... That's going for quite a lot of money. This is definitely a good alternative, I think. You're getting you're getting everything you want from Eggerman. You get her really iconic and cool staff. You get her being cute. And honestly, you get a look that you don't see much in the anime, so it is a bit more novel than just her regular outfit. At least that's in my uh, opinion, anyway. But yeah. Overall, very, very pleased with this. Uh, I am looking forward to put, displaying this next to my Ruby statue. Uh, I think I've got a few other Papa Parade statues coming up in the future as well, so stick around for those when they do come out. The good thing with Papa Parade is when they go up for um, pre-order, they're released three months later, so you're pretty much guaranteed, unless you pre-order at the end of a year, it's going to arrive the same year that you pre-order it, which isn't always guaranteed with other things. Um, yeah, that wraps up my review. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I didn't ramble or go off on too many tangents and stuff. Uh, let me know if you have this one, or if you have the original Megumin one, actually. Or if you have both, how do they stack up? I would genuinely be quite curious, actually. Because I feel like, I don't know, maybe Papa Parade's getting like, better with the detailing, or maybe it's just the fact that Megumin is more detailed than Ruby Rose is. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, as always, I will leave some playlists to like statues I've reviewed here and like a random video here. They're not going to be on screen right now, so I don't know why I'm pointing really. But that wraps it up. Uh, and until next time, goodbye.